Welcome to our MIDI Devices tutorial. Let's start by installing a new MIDI device. Select Devices, MIDI Device Manager. Click Install Devices. Here you can choose the MIDI device. I happen to have a Triton from Korg. Click OK. Here you can choose the MIDI connection. Let's create a MIDI track. And from our output drop down menu, I'm going to choose my Triton. And from this drop down menu here, you can switch between different sound banks. Let's go back to our MIDI device manager and see how we can rename a sound bank. Select the device from the installed devices list and then click the Open Device button. Select your patch bank from this drop-down menu. Expand the Programs folder. Check Enable Edit and double-click on the patch name, then type a new one. You can change the value here if needed as well. Check your voice name list for the MIDI instrument. Close this window and let's go back to our MIDI track. And here we can see our changes. Let's now define a new MIDI device. Back to Devices, MIDI Device Manager. Click Install Device, choose Define New, click OK. Here you can specify which channel the MIDI device should use. The most commonly used are the identical channels. In other words, if all channels that you're planning to use are equal, choose the identical channels. The individual channels can be a drum channel, for example. For drums, use channel 10 as a rule. Channel settings. Here is where you specify the MIDI parameters used by your MIDI device on the identical channels. Check your MIDI device manual about this. Preset type. Preset reference contains the patch name and corresponding MIDI message. Snapshots also contain a patch name and complete parameter settings as well. Which is reset when such a preset patch is recalled. System exclusive parameters. This checkbox is here. Activate snapshots if your device supports global snapshots. Type your MIDI device name here. Click OK. Now select Patch Banks. Check Enable Edit. Rename this folder Voices, for example. Now select a new folder. Let's name it Programs A. Click OK. And then the second folder we'll call Programs B. OK. Now select your folder from the drop down menu. Choose Add Multiple Presets. Here you can set two parameters Bank Change Number and program change numbers. These numbers are used to navigate between banks and patches basically think these numbers are like a patches map. From this pop-up menu, choose Bank Change. For example, 
CC Bank Select MSB, Bank Select 14 bit, or Bank Select 14 bit MSB hyphen LSB. Check your owner manual on this. The default name, choose capital A. Click OK. Select Bank B and choose Add Multiple Parameters from the drop down menu. Select the Bank Change parameter. Change this value in the Range column to 1. Bank A uses the number 0, and Bank B uses the number 1. Change the default name to capital B and click OK. Now go to your MIDI device owner manual and rename these patches. To delete any patches, simply select them and press delete on your keyboard. Close this window. Select the MIDI device from the Installed Devices list. Select the Output Connection for your MIDI device. And let's go back to our MIDI track. Select the Output MIDI device. And here you can choose the sound patches we just created. This concludes our tutorial on MIDI devices.